If in dual reviewer mode, which is the default, and a citation receives two conflicting votes, then it will move to your resolve conflicts list. At title and abstract screening, a conflict will arise when a citation receives a yes and a no vote, or a maybe and a no vote. A maybe and a yes vote will not result in a conflict. At the full text review stage, a conflict will arise when a citation receives an include and an exclude vote, or if two people vote to exclude the citation but for different reasons. When a conflict arises, a third and adjudicating vote is required and it is this vote that moves the citation forward in your review. All voting in Covenants is blinded, meaning that you can't see how your co-reviewers are voting until you have cast your own vote and it is in agreement. This blinding is also maintained at the stages of resolving conflicts. When resolving conflicts at the title and abstract screening stage, you will be able to see who cast their vote, but not how they voted, as knowing previous decisions could lend a source of bias to the adjudicating vote. The person resolving the conflict can see who voted though, should they want to discuss the decisions with those who cast the original votes. When the conflict has been resolved, if the resolution was in line with your votes, you'll be able to see the history of the votes by locating the citation and clicking on view history. It can be a good idea to sort your relevant list by most recent, as this will bring the citation most recently acted upon to the top of your list which is often the resolved conflict. When resolving conflicts at the full text review stage, you will be able to see who voted if there was a discrepancy with include or exclude. If the citation was excluded but for different reasons, then you will be required to make a final decision for the reason for exclusion. You can also manage who in your team must resolve all conflicts at both the title and abstract screening stage as well as full text review. To do this, go to the settings, team settings page, manage rules, then select the co-reviewers that you wish to have these functions. 